Welcome back to Jex Analytics, your gateway into the world of data analytics. So today we'll be exploring the, the fundamentals, the concepts, everything that every aspiring data analyst need to know. That is what we'll be discussing today. At its core, data analytics is the process of examining data sets and drawing conclusions from the information they contain. It's also about uncovering insights, uh, making informed decisions, and driving actionable outputs. Beta analysis can be classified into four broad main types. Descriptive analysis. Descriptive, that is number one. Number two is diagnostic analysis. Number three is predictive analysis and number four is prescriptive analysis descriptive analytics is about understanding the past this is where an analyst uncovered insights and summarizes events of what happened it can also be uh, an analysis that tells story of the past it can be um, the sales of a business for the past five months what happened in the business it can be it can be the, the engagement rate of a content creator in a Facebook. So all of these are what descriptive because this is an analysis that is giving insights about events that happen. Diagnostic analytics. This is about explaining the why. So this is where an analyst goes a step further into understanding understanding why a thing happened. So it can be in a case of a sales. So why was there a low turn up? Why? Why was there a low turn up? Why was there a low engagement for that content creator? So diagnostic analysis explains the why. It explains, remember descriptive is the what happened. Diagnostic is why it happened. So what happened? There was a low, a low turn up. That is in the descriptive. In the diagnostic is why was there a low turn up? So it analyzes these things. And if I pro, just like in the case of the the case of um, coffee a, a coffee sales owner, so probably from their diagnostic analysis that they were able to see that why they weren't having a high turn up as before was because. They were selling hot coffee during summertime. So diagnostic explains the why. Predictive analytics. This is about forecasting the future. So, so what what it does is it takes in the historical data, analyzes it, and then tells you based on historical data what might likely happen. So predictive analysis leverages on historical data and statistical algorithms to then predict that's the word predict or forecast or tell you the likely things that will happen let's take for instance that coffee shop owner so remember in the descriptive they were having a little of that is what happened and the diagnostic is why they were having a lot of ones because they were selling what they were selling hot coffee during summertime that is the why now in the predictive so they have seen that from their past they have seen that when they sell they have seen that they sell higher during summer times so that is already a base algorithm for them to know that if they are selling high during summer times and people prefer cold coffee drinks during summer therefore if they sell cold coffee during summer time they will make what high return so they have perhaps forecasted or predicted based on their historical data or sales data to tell them what is likely to us to happen this is also another um analytics or side of analysis that data science data scientists use as we do these days machine learning today we hear of machine learning ai and stuff like that all these models they perform all these things based on historical data 
So they can't just predict on their own. They have to leverage on what historical data. So they take in the historical data, analyze them, apply some algorithms, which is what we call models, or in some cases, statistical of algorithms as well and then they can be able to predict trends that's right they will have sales forecasts we have in banks they tell you maybe customer retention customer retention employee retention in some companies uh you know so all of these are what predictive they can be able to predict the kind of sales that they will have in January. Do you know why? Because for the past five years, they used to have so 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 and so 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 amount of sales during January. So predictive will tell them that in January you will have likely this amount based on what historical data. The last of the four major parts of data analytics is prescriptive analytics. Prescribed prescriptive analytics. Now look at the three the descriptive, the diagnostic, the predictive. We've seen how interrelated they are to each other. Now, prescriptive is now more like the guiding action. So taking into account all of these, remember the case of a coffee shop owner, what should we then do? That is, that this is where the analyst puts into words most of the times what should then happen based on predictive analysis especially because predictive has said there will be high sales in January or low sales during summer time due to the fact that there is this and there is that so that is only just an analytics so what should then be the action the insight the take home how should then a business make a decision based on these that is all called prescriptive so based on all of these gathered together and based on what has been predicted so prescriptive will now tell you okay sell what ice cold uh, ice cold coffee during summer that is prescriptive because you've seen it all. We all, we are, remember our analogy from the very start, the coffee shop owner. So last, last, the prescriptive analysis will all now be about what? Giving actions so that the business can then make decisions based on these insights. We can also see it more like recommendation. This is where an analyst gives in recommendation based on his or her finding. Now that we have uncovered the types of data analytics, let's now look at the life cycle of data analytics. So data analytics life cycle. What is the start process? What is the end? So what is it like? Remember in our secondary school, how we are taught the life cycle of a plant or of human being or, or, or ozone layer life cycle. So all of these. So data analytics also has its own words, life cycle. So what is the first thing in data analytics? Number one is data collection. So it's all about gathering the data. So for someone working in an office, so this is where um, you, de depending on the type of work you do, perhaps if you work in a team that has to do with other data engineers, so you have to pipe in the data from where it is in the, in the database. So that is can also be a type of work, data collection for you. So this is just the general idea of getting that data into that particular tool that you want to work with. So that is the whole thing. It can be through Excel, it can be through CSV file, it can be online streaming of data from somewhere, it can be directly from the web app. So all of these are all types of our data collection. So that's the number one. So you gather the data. So the next thing is data cleaning. So, so when you gather your data, it doesn't end. So you gather your data, you do data cleaning. Data cleaning is to look at your data to see um, the things you need and the things you don't need, basically. So if, if for instance, you are typing dates and people are some, some days are in number, why some are written in text, like some months are written in text instead of zero one for January, it is written January. 
it is written Jan. It is written. It is written. So, or maybe there is a misspelling. So, all of these are the things a data analyst takes into account. You clean your data, prepare your data. So, we we'll call it data cleaning. And in some cases, data preprocessing or data preparation. So this is where you clean the data, you prepare the data, everything is set. Make sure there are no errors. In the cases where you need the percentage, it is it is in percentage. In the cases where there is where there is a missing number and it might affect the data, so either you remove the missing number or so. In the case where there is repeated, in the case where there is supposed to be a unique ID. But then there is a repeated ID, which is not supposed to be so. So all of these, the eye of an ego, is what every data analyst will need. You should have the eye to spot out those errors based on the data you have. That is number two. So we have data collection, data cleaning or preparation. The next thing is now data analysis. So data analysis is just simply applying techniques in which you would then analyze your data. So it, it, it can also involve the build of measures of in some cases, like in data science, you can call it feature engineering. So if, for instance, you, you have months, right, but you have calendar year, but your your company or your employer needs runs in fiscal years and their fiscal year starts from April while some fiscal some other fiscal year starts in September so these are where you apply some of these things and build measures and tables that have a different calendar so so data analysis is where you apply where you apply techniques that will help you to build a measure that will use in your work, data visualization because that is your end goal that is where you're heading so the next step is then data visualization so this is where you begin to work, pop out the charts so remember collect your data clean your data which all of them will happen in for for the power bi users all of them will happen in your power query and then in 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 the in the in the data view or in the model view so between data view and model view this is also where you watch your data view remember what, how we talked about relationships and cardinality so these are all things where you check that everything that where you apply every technique that you need to us to analyze your data so that is number three so data analysis number four data visualization this is where you now start popping what charts building the charts together and making sense of all the charts number five is now interpreting the data for was for decision making so you don't just build the chart so what is the chart saying so you have to make sure that you have done a beautiful visualization but also do well to put in words to it to present the data as a data analyst don't just pop charts you have to explain it put life into it so that it can breathe and there you have it the basic concepts of data analytics so whether you're exploring the past with descriptive analysis or or rather the mysteries with diagnostic analysis or perhaps predicting the future with predictive analysis or in fact recommending actions with your prescriptive analytics there is something for you for every part of your journey as a data analyst so stay tuned for my next episode as we continue to build you on into our series which is what series on data analytics tools using excel power bi tableau python this is a journey i can't wait you to get on with me on signing out do well please to like comment uh in fact i would like feedback at every of my video i will really appreciate your feedback your comments or your appreciation so do well to put some comment for me put a like for me and also subscribe just a single click remember to subscribe share to your loved ones and those who are interested in learning data analysis let them come and stay with me here because there is a whole lot for them and i promise to put in all my best for this